What's up guys, as you guys know I am True Triz, today I have a huge, huge, awesome video. I'm going to be teaching you guys and I'm going to be breaking down how to easily use the command block in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to be teaching you guys all of the different types of command blocks as well as how to actually spawn it in. So anyways, first things first, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys go ahead. I'm going to be doing some giveaways. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on today's video. Subscribe to my channel and leave notifications on so when you guys get notified that you guys actually won the giveaway. As well as make sure you guys go ahead and comment below if you guys want an iTunes card, Google Play card, or Robux, Xbox Live, PlayStation. Let me know, guys, in the comment section what you guys want as long as you guys tell me to you like what region you guys are from if you guys are from the united states the united kingdom uh indonesia the philippines let me know guys so i know exactly where you guys are from so anyways if you guys did not know the 1.0.0 uh, 5 update has been released and it's actually the command block update this is super super hype and super super awesome so anyways what does this actually mean how do we actually use the command block how do we use these different features I'm gonna be breaking it down and I'm gonna make this as simple and as easy as possible for you guys to understand so you guys definitely definitely want to watch the entire video so you guys can actually learn how to actually use the command block on Minecraft pocket edition so first things first if you guys don't know how to actually spawn it or how to make a command block in minecraft pocket edition you need to have your game and you have to make sure that your game is actually um has cheats on it so if you actually go into your settings obviously i can show you guys real quickly you can see i have my cheats on it's like normal commands because in order the only way you can possibly get it right now by the way when i actually do it you can see it's kind of glitched but if i actually go ahead and say give and then I'm going to go ahead and I'll do at P and then command underscore block. You can actually see there's a couple different types of command blocks. You can spell out whatever command block you actually want. There's four of them there right there. However, though, you can actually change them um, inside the actual interface. So all you have to really do is just do just a regular command block because you can actually change the command block so obviously I already have it in my inventory so it doesn't matter you can see I actually have two of them from this video or from this like, little view but then you actually have the command block in your actual utility so now when you actually put down the command block you can see it's just the normal standard impulse command block you can actually see when you actually press on the command block you can see it has a bunch of different features. I'm going to be breaking down everything for you guys, so hopefully it's super easy for you guys to understand this. So, first things first, there's a couple different types of command blocks. It's the impulse, the chain, and the repeat. Impulse is kind of just a normal command, so it's as if you're actually executing just a normal standard command in game. Um, the chain one will actually only happen if the command before it actually happens and I'll show you that a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain, but when you actually see it for yourselves, then it makes more sense. And then repeat means that the actual command they actually make from the command block will continuously be repeating. So I'll show you guys that as well. So if you guys actually change from impulse to chain, you can actually see the command block changes color. If I do the same thing to repeat, it's going to turn purple just like that. And I can switch it right back into my impulse one too. So if you guys, like I said before, you, there's like four different blocks, but if you just put down one, you can actually change it from the interface itself. So it's kind of awesome. So anyways, impulse impulse works as if it's just a normal command if you go ahead and we'll do like we'll do um weather and then we will do uh rain there we go so now i actually made my first command so the weather will be rain when we actually execute it um unconditional means uh, that it's actually only going to happen if the command before it actually works we don't have to worry about it right now so i'm just going to do unconditional doesn't really matter at all needs redstone or always active this means that you can actually um, execute it using like a redstone which i'll show you guys using it or it's always going to be active i honestly just i recommend using the redstone so you can turn it on and off if you decide you don't really like it uh, the previous output you don't have to worry about it i just keep it on to be honest you can check it out for yourself but anyways we have our first command set to weather which is going to be rain 
So now, when I actually back out, you can see this says Command Set Weather Rain. This is our Weather Rain one. If I want to go ahead and I want to do like, I'll name the hover, I'll do like Rain, it doesn't have to be technically it. So now when I actually back out too, you can see that it's going to be called Rain. So this command right here, when I get close to it, it says Rain. So you can kind of like label exactly what command you guys want for each command block. So if you guys want to actually access it, and you want to make this thing work, what you are going to have to do is you can either put like a button on the command block itself or if you guys don't want to do that you can get like red oh geez you can get like redstone and then you get like tr oh geez I'm, I'm i'm trying to get redstone here i don't know what it keeps flipping there we go we got redstone now i mean you can do whatever you guys really want to you have like a, a lever over here um you can have like a pressure play do something fancy so whenever someone steps on it it'll actually work so if i actually go ahead and i'm just going to step on this little pressure play here you can see that it actually accessed it it says rain changing to rainy weather simply because we set the command to always raining now it's actually raining when we actually go ahead and set on it so every single time we walk onto this pressure plate the command's going to work and we're actually going to see the weather continuously becoming rain so that's kind of cool so if i go ahead if i go change it down to we'll do clear we'll do clear just like this so and then i'm going to back out now and then I'm just going to step on this thing again, and now you can see it says changing cl to clear weather. So now the rain is slowly fading away, and we actually have clear weather. Obviously, I'm just showcasing this command block um, with the weather. I mean, you can do whatever you guys really want to. You can give players certain blocks or certain abilities, which is kind of cool. You can set the location of certain blocks to spawn, uh, which is awesome as well too, so that's pretty sweet. So this is simply just a basic uh, impulse block on Minecraft Pocket Edition. So there's still a couple other ones I do want to talk about. So next one I actually want to talk to you guys about is of course the chain one. The chain one is super important if you guys are in fact trying to do something pretty special i do recommend that you guys have so it's like conditional unconditional so things will flow as uh, as a pack too so let's go ahead and let's do something uh, something kind of funny okay so if i actually go i'm just gonna make sure i have my uh command block sometimes in the beta of course on a plane it does glitch it does get out of your inventory sometimes so always be careful with that so let's go ahead um oops geez i didn't mean to do that let's go come over here all right so i'm actually gonna quick show you guys exactly what the chain command does i have a little bit of a demo right here to show you guys but essentially what a chain command does is it actually makes it so it actually makes the circuit of the redstone go into a path so what I actually did here to show you guys as an example here um, I actually made the impulse one says true and then my chain command says triz so whenever you actually execute a chain one make sure you guys start with the impulse one so same thing how I actually demonstrated the impulse one, I believe I demonstrated over here, how you do need like some type of reaction. I do of course have the, um, it's set to, it needs redstone in order to be activated. But if I actually go ahead and actually access this thing, you can see it says true triz. And why is it saying that? Because my first command says slash true, and then my second one says say triz so you can obviously go ahead and change it maybe you can have you can kind of have a little bit of a troll you can have like a set weather to uh rain and then the next one can be set weather to snow or clear or something like that you can always like mess around with that so that's pretty much what a chain one does you can stack them so you can have like a bunch of these things down oh geez hang on you have a bunch of these chain ones like down a line so i mean you can have different things happen at different times uh, which is always cool i'm sure a lot of you guys will come up with some pretty awesome new uh like commands with these chain as well as the impulse one which is pretty epic so like i said before i mean i'm just showing you guys a demo this is just a say command with the impulse and this is just a sick command with the chain one so it's kind of all up to you guys on how you actually want to go ahead and direct the actual command block so anyways then moving on to our other block here which is the repeat block if you actually go ahead and go in block type go repeat this one's kind of cool of course um it's kind of it is what you expect it to be where it just continuously is on a loop and it'll continuously 
activate. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with coding, but pretty much what happens is if you guys set a once to one command, maybe you want to have some type of weather command or some type of way to give block to certain players, it will continuously give a certain block amount to the player. It's going to be on a loop, so it's continuously going to constantly be updating it. I do like the repeat ones. It's kind of rare for myself to be using these things. Personally, I do like the whole like control ability for the command block. And when it's on a loop, you have to be very, very careful because if you do, of course, do some like really crazy amount of repeat blocks, you have the potential risk of crashing your game, especially on Minecraft Pocket Edition if your device can't really take all this crazy craziness into it. So anyways, like I said before, it is kind of complicated at first. It does take a little bit of practice with these uh, awesome command blocks, but obviously it is worth it if you guys want to set up some awesome brand new traps go ahead and do it you can do some like very very cool things um with this thing let's say for example we'll do like spawn uh we'll do oh, geez we'll do slash spawn uh and then we'll do dragon there we go so if i actually go here and then i hopefully this command does work hang on one second come on come on or is, is it um oh geez i think it's summon my bad i might have messed up the actual uh, command so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this thing and then summon dragon there we go so once I actually go activate this thing you can see the command block just summoned the ender dragon into my world how epic is that guys that's super super cool and you can continuously just do it just go ahead and keep pressing this thing obviously if you guys do choose to do this I do recommend you guys take it for a precaution maybe have your activator like ways out from where the actual location of the command block is but we go ahead and press it again and there we go we spawned and we were say we summoned the ender dragon and my game just crashed too that's <laughs> how fortunate is that so anyways i hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about command blocks it's kind of complicated and kind of complex at first but the more practice you guys actually have with them i'm 100% certain you guys are going to love command blocks. It's gonna, it's seriously cha game changing. The amount of maps we're gonna be getting to and types of commands, it's gonna be awesome. So, anyways, my name is True Truiz. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We'll catch you guys later. Have an awesome day, and uh, remember, stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already, and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace.